Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video and another episode of our F124 Manager Challenge series. Yes, we're back today taking on another of this game's race replay events and kind of rewriting history. Uh, I now stream these live over on my Twitch. There's a link down in the description below and to be fair I also stream them live here on YouTube. So yeah, slightly changed up format for this one today, but let's get into it. The track is under safety car following Bottas' retirement and LP needs to act. Ocon and Gasly are both on hards, but every team will be looking at their strategy chart to make the most of the opportunity. Now Alpine will do whatever it takes to get a veterans Ricardo and Hulkenberg to make their return to Shanghai a success. Okay, so we've just got to try and earn one point from this race. Can we get Alpine's first point of the year? Two people said Williams. We'll do a Williams one afterwards. We will try to do two. So, these can be a little bit tricky, chat, because they require a lot of micromanagement. So, safety cars come out. We've got... How many laps left, sorry, of the race? I think it's... Oh, quite a long way. So, we're going to box over... What tyres have we got? Uh, we got a fresh set of hards, mediums as well. I think we're probably better off going hards, aren't we? I mean, we'll try and split the strategies then. Ocon will try and get to the end of the afternoon. Gasly, we will try um, and do an extra stop for the end. We'll basically hedge our bets in this race. Gasly's way down the order anyway, so it doesn't matter so much with him. Uh, but yeah, we're going to try and just hedge our bets then in this race. So a safety car comes out. Verstappen's going to pick it up, but he's on dead tyres. So we might see a few drivers screw themselves over here. Uh, it's Ocon down to P15 then. Uh, so, I mean, here we've got quite a few. Ocon's already up to 12. Why am AI pitting a lap after they should have? Surely Verstappen's going to do the same, because his tyres are destroyed. Safety car's coming in, then. So, I guess we're in a pretty good spot. So, Verstappen's going to have the box pretty quickly. He's probably still going to beat me by the end of the afternoon. Gasly, according to this, he can go to the end as well. So, we have got an opportunity here. I have no idea how well this Alpine car is going to be in this game. But we got a fresh set of tyres on the wagon. So we're going to try and push forward with both cars as best as possible. Ocon, sensibly, I mean, who's he going to be able to beat this in front of him? Hulkenberg, I guess. And then we're kind of hoping, obviously, yeah, Verstappen's going to have to pit soon. Oscar's going to have to pit soon. Russell will definitely have to pit again. Hulkenberg will definitely have to pit again. We might stand a chance. I was waiting for that safety car to peel in then. Are we going to see Verstappen? Verstappen's in immediately. <laughs> I don't know why. Have we got yellows out? What's gone on? Have we got another incident? No, there we go. Green flag racing again then. So we're going to have a pit stop over Verstappen, which I guess is good. Gasly's already back up into P17. So he's making progress. As What on earth has gone on? What's happening? Sonoda's binned it as well. What on earth is going on? Why is everybody making mistakes? Lelouchin, walk one in. Hope we're doing well. Struggling with the car, but that's just yeah. the risk you take. The later you leave it. Okay, Crofty. Apparently, he left it quite late. Everyone, go look at the Williams Esports post about F1 School. I will check that out. <laughs> right. So Ocon is already up to eleventh then. Looks like hopefully we're going to have the pace over Ricardo. Uh, we've just got to try and work these hard tyres a little bit early on. Um, I mean, Ricardo, yeah, is going to be quick, though, which I think is going to be a problem for us. And so is Alex Albon. So I think what we're going to do is just bring it back down into standard mode. Uh, we need to obviously burn off some of this fuel, which I guess is good. Look at that car. Do we do we think the Al I still quite like the Alpine livery. It's not as good as it has been in previous years, but it's still okay. I remember when this first came out and I live reacted to it. I hated it, but ultimately I've I've learned not to dislike it too badly. There's Leclerc new fastest. Piastri's into the pit lane then, so we are going to be up into that cover to tenth place then of this GP. Verstappen is only ten seconds behind Magnussen here. What tyres is Verstappen on? He's on hard, so he's going to try and get to the end as well. So effectively, we want to try and keep Verstappen back. We've got 16 seconds and 28 laps to try and defend from him. I don't think that's going to happen before the end of the afternoon. I'll be honest with you, chap. 
Uh, but we'll wait and see. Is Ocon still... I mean, he's not running badly right now. Uh, but it is definitely quite difficult to try and kind of manage everything here. These challenges are quite brutal. You've got to try and micromanage as best as possible. So you can only really sim forward like a couple of laps. That's why I thought they'd be good on stream. Um... Uh, yeah, to be fair, like a couple of the previous year Alpines have been really good looking cars. The last couple have not been so great. Um, but, you know, I think unfortunately most Formula 1 cars recently haven't looked so great. Which is a bit of a shame. As Hulkenberg surely is going to pit. Stroll's got a penalty. I can only assume that's from running into the back of Ricardo's. Why have we got yellow flags? What's happened? Okay. Someone's locked up. Uh, it is Sonoda again. What is happening to Yuki Tsunoda tonight? I mean, he's got Verstappen behind him. Conspiracy theory chat? Is Yuki Tsunoda deliberately jumping out of the way? I mean, Verstappen now up against Gasly. We've got to try and use some strategy here. Gasly, you are always defending. You are always overtaking. You are going to try and keep Max Verstappen at bay. So we're going to use all the fuel, all the battery, and just defend for all your worth there. If we can put a car between us, actually, that would be useful. Let's try and have a look down the inside of Zhou. Home race. I could not care less, unfortunately, Zhou Guan Yu. And we are up then into P... What's that? P13 with Gasly as well. So we're running pretty well, actually, at this stage. Uh, Hulkenberg and Russell definitely going to have to pit soon. So Ocon could be up into, like, net P8 here. Depending on how we get on. Um, but it's going to be quite difficult still, obviously, to hang on to that. I mean, we're still battling Albon, though, as well. Which is a little bit of an issue. As, oh, no, we've got both drivers next to each other. How we manage this? I don't think it's worth box uh, swapping them around. I think Ocon still needs to stay in front. So we're going to tell Gasly just to no longer go for the aggression. He's going to try and do, go for a low overtake. Actually, I'm probably better off just telling him don't fight your teammate, aren't I, at the moment? So, he's I mean, he's got peak confidence. I don't think I've ever seen this before in this game. And he's still going to make the move anyway. I think he's trying to ignore direct orders. There we go. He backs out on the exit. I'm so sorry, Pierre. I didn't want to do this to you. Uh, but he is absolutely flying right now. I mean, he could still be worth um, boxing again before the end. As Hulkenberg as well is doing... He's just starting to drop off slightly. He's still got 22 laps to go. Gasly might genuinely be on a better strategy here if we box with him again. Because I'm just starting to worry a little bit that Ocon might struggle towards the end. It's up into ninth place now. He's still two seconds behind Alex Albon. But, I mean, Verstappen's through, so that is probably less of a surprise. I mean, a lot of AI is still are pitting here towards the end of the race. Alvin's got 68% left on his tyres. I guess we've just kind of got to follow him as best as we can. There's only really one other car behind us that should beat us, and I guess that's Oscar Piastri. But he's got mechanical gremlins as well. So I think Gasly, we're going to opt to take a little... No, we can't really opt to take a little bit more out of the tyres, because I want to get him on probably another set mediums to the end. Pierre is faster, but it doesn't really work in terms of our strategy. So we're going we're gonna to leave Ocon in front. And now he's starting to gain a little bit more again. Uh, in terms of the um, tyre delta as well. So I think we're just going to try and gamble it with Ocon. Keep him out to the end. Kind of see what we can do. Got to be a little bit careful that you know we're just not overheating the engine. And things like that. But obviously I want to try and get through all of these rich revs as well. For the end of the day there is. There we go. Up at a ninth place then. So who's that? Let's pick up. Hulkenberg, I think. No, Russell's obviously his pit, hasn't he, now? So both Williams inside the top ten here is pretty wild. Albert is still, though, two seconds clear of Ocon. So we need to get back with Alex Albert because we need straight... I mean, he could be quite critical here towards the end of the afternoon. So we've got Yellows out. We've got a VSC. Damn it, man. Hulkenberg's been nit. Right, where's Gasly? Where's Gasly? Where's Gasly? Damn it. Damn it. We could have tried to pick Gasly. If I'd reacted just a little bit sooner, we could have reacted with Pierre Gasly there as well. I guess we'll use this as a chance to cool down both engines. But Kevin Magnussen out of the Grand Prix. So a heartbreak for him. And if we could get that converted, then it could have been worth it. 
So we were doing a Ferrari career mode. We're now just doing some challenges inside this game. Because we finished off the, uh, the career mode race for tonight. Right, if that VSC lasts an entire lap, could we now box? I think we've got to gamble it. Leclerc, we may as well anyway. He's coming in for a, what is basically a fresh set of mediums. Ocon. Has he got time to box? He's got 98 meters. We're going to try and gamble him onto mediums as well. This is a big call late on in the day. As Ocon into the pit lane will go then. Is the VSC in? Oh man, the VSC's in. We have butchered this. We have butchered this so badly. <laughs> oh, damn it, man. It never told me the VSC was coming in. How has Alonso ended up like a five-second lead? What on earth is this, chat? A seven-second stop? Oh, yeah, because he was held up. No, he wasn't. Hey? Oh, chat, we have messed this up badly. We have messed this up royally. I normally have to do, like, one practice run on these. Just to kind of see what it's like. Oh, no, there's the VSC ending. This is really odd. Really, really odd. So VSC now has ended. So we've gained quite a bit, I would assume. DRS re-enabled, so... I've got no idea whether we're in a good spot here or not now. We've got fresher tyres than everybody else. Joe's probably going to have to pit. But how far behind the leaders are we? I mean, we are 25 seconds off the top 10. I've got no idea whether we're in a good spot right now, chat. I guess we just kind of got to wait and see what happens towards the end. As we've got the hat of Nico Hulkenberg trying to push us along. Not too sure what we make of that. I guess we can afford to go aggressive on these tyres. We haven't got that long left of the race. But, yeah, I think... I mean, top 10 there, Sergeant. We've got another yellow flag. What's happened? Who's been it? Come on, show me. Who's crashed? This is one of the most chaotic races I've ever seen. Yuki Sonoda and I think that's Zhou, isn't it? And that is a big dive bomb. And they're both fine. <laughs> What is that? <laughs> that is ridiculous. Maybe they've got... Oh, they've both got damage, to be fair. So that works out nicely for us. But Gasly is currently last, then, in this Grand Prix. Ocon 16th. So we've got to get him to go aggressive on the overtakes again. Hopefully he can use some battery here to try and get around uh, Ricardo as well. So there we go. Nice, simple move. Done and dusted. But we've got to try and bring it back down, then, and just look after things. This is all oh, why these two are so slow. Can we try and get a run on the pair of them? Uh, incident. I assume no penalties will be given. Yep, there you go. This is one of the weirdest races I think I've ever done in this game chat. And we might still be able to get back closer to those points. I guess for us now, it is basically about whether Williams will fall off towards the end of the afternoon. Because both of those cars still are inside the top 10. We are going to be back up into P13 hopefully quite soon. Um, but... It, yeah, it's just a question. What lap times are they running? Williams' last lap. 141. Albon's box. No, he hasn't. Where's Albon? Albon has box. Sorry, he's come out just behind us. So, Sergeant is going four seconds a lap slower. We are quicker than Stroll and Sonoda as well. But it's basically now we've got to try and close up seven seconds to Stroll by the end. And his tyres aren't that much older than ours. So this is going to be really, really difficult towards the end of this race. But basically now we are trying to close up to Stroll. So Noda's still got damage. That should be another quite easy move for us. So there we go. I'm in a P12. But why can't we take time out of Lance here? Can Lance lose time to Logan Sargent? I guess that's the other question for us. But we're going to have to start being really, really methodical with the battery usage. I think is going to be the key. We've got more yellows. Again, what has happened? Who's been it now? It's Stroll and Sergeant! <laughs> this has got to be the dumbest race I've ever seen. Like, we might have completely balls this up and we might still get the objective. It definitely cost him time. I'm not going to complain about that. This is going to be the dumbest race I think I've ever seen on this game. But we're about to get Esteban Ocon up inside that top 10. And I do not care. 
It might well be the first time ever I have wanted to see Alpine oh, score good points. There's more yellow flags. We've got a VSC now. I mean, we can box Gasly again, I guess. Try and take Fancy's lap. Sergeant gets a five-second penalty as well. Um, but yeah, obviously, we may as well just tone it back down again. Save up the battery. Joe's binned it. What is this race? Seriously, I've never seen a race this chaotic in this game. That's a big off for Joe. Oh, a massive shunt. Massive shunt for Joe there as well, who finds himself in the wars. And Alfa Romeo, you know, uh, sorry, kicks out even. Will not be happy with that one. So, Joe's now gone. We are down to 16 runners, I think. 17 runners still in this race. But Ocon now is running up in P10. Gasly is hopefully going to gain a couple of places as well. But Ocon, to be honest, yeah, is looking pretty safe here towards the end of the race. He's got two and a half seconds over a wounded Yuki Tsunoda. And that gap will hopefully just continue to increase. Could we try and get Gansley a bit closer as well? I don't know. I mean, the VSCs last forever inside this game, man. There we go. Virtual safety car ending. So we can afford to go aggressive, full fuel, and neutral again. And we'll go aggressive, full fuel, and we'll go deploy with Pierre, I guess. There we go, VSC back in. I think now Ocon should hopefully be saved towards the flag. What's the gap? I mean, Albon's going fast, man. Come on. We cannot lose to Alex Albon before the end of this race. And we got another one. What? Who's binned it now? What is this? VSC again. I mean, this works out nicely. Stroll stacked it at turn one. Hey, have a good one, Mighty Dart. Thanks for stopping by, buddy. What is this race? This has got to be the most audacious, ridiculous event I've ever seen in this game. So again, we can afford to look after the tyres, save up some battery. Lift it close where you can. And I mean, this is just perfect for keeping Albert at bay. 16 cars left in the running now, ladies and gents. So we are slowly seeing more and more of them being knocked out. Uh, we've got a three second gap over Alex Albert. Surely we can hang on to this by the end of the afternoon. Even if we just go like full attack towards the end. So there we go. Virtual safety car ending. Full deploy. Full battery. Full tyres. Go. Build up that gap, Esteban Ocon. I do not want Albon to even get a look in here towards the end. I, yeah, there's definitely... This is one of the most aggressive races I've ever seen on this game. In terms of the... Like, how was Albert Park so boring in changeable conditions? Yet this race is absolutely wild. Like a bone-dry race here in Shanghai. Like, what on earth is that about? There's Albon again, just pulling away from Sonoda. I think we should be good. I mean, we've got a two and a half second gap still. Like, Albon is closing in, but I'm hoping he's not going to have enough to get to us. Tell you what, he might actually be very close by the end of this. It could still come down to the wire, I guess, between myself and Albon here. Which would be suboptimal. I'd like to just kind of walk away with this without being put under too much pressure. Two laps to go with this Grand Prix. Albon now is 1.2 seconds away. As long as he doesn't get the DRS chat, I think we should be pretty safe here. And in the dumbest way possible, we are going to complete one of these challenges for the first time inside this game. Welcome back, Ducky. Alright, come on. I mean, tyres are fine. Surely this is easy. Surely this is over. Albon, I think, is just dropping back slightly. I mean, it tells you everything you need to know about how dumb race this is when that's what comes out of the final quarter first. What is that? <laughs> Why is Checo good at Shanghai in this game? I swear that's not even the first time he's won this race. Okay, Sergio Perez. A Formula 1 Grand Prix winner in 2024. I think, though, as Ocon makes his way out in towards the final couple of corners, we are going to complete this challenge first time of asking. So I'm pretty happy with that, then. I mean, we absolutely didn't deserve it, but we'll take it at the end of the day. As there we go, Ocon out of the final corner. Points for Alpine here in Shanghai in the dumbest race I think I've ever done inside this game. But there we go. 
That's how you complete the Shanghai Challenge inside F1 Manager 24. Basically prey on a load of virtual safety cars happening right the way through. Would have been nice to know whether the mediums would have just... Sorry, the hard tyres would have just made it. As Gasly will come through for P14 in the end as well. But there we go. Points for Alpine. Challenge completed, ladies and gentlemen. And we'll try and do one with Williams as well, I suppose. Happy with that, though. Genuinely, I was thinking late on, we're not going to be able to complete this challenge there. As there we go. Complete. Of that race, we can now see Esteban Ocon. Just managing a finish in the point, having crossed the line in 10. And onto the podium goes Sergio Perez. And he's certainly in good There you go. Yep, Hawks jump for the entire team. They'll love it. They'll love it. Perez there takes the win. The most the cursed thing you'll ever see inside F1 Manager 24. But there we go. Challenge complete. We got exactly the one point we needed. Next time out, we're going to be taking on one of the challenges with Williams. Uh, but yeah, obviously, if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you all so much for watching. And we'll be back very soon with more F1 Manager.